the lightest football cleat ever made. That's what you get when you open the box of the brand new Puma Evo Speed 1.4 SL. Most of the upper is so thin that you can actually see through it when you put your hand or your foot in there. And with Puma stating right here on the bottom of the cleats that they shouldn't be practiced in, and the rumors saying that they only last 10 games, can these really hold up for even the short amount of time that we're going to be playing in them? Let's find out. Now the upper is an ultra thin, one millimeter thick textile upper to keep the weight insanely low and provide a form fit to your foot. Honestly, the weight of these is incredible. It also features this laser cut speed frame to help provide support to the upper when you're cutting and turning to give it just that little bit of rigidity. The whole upper is going to be dripped in this lava blast color scheme with a really nice clean white accent running along the side and a small black total eclipse rim right around the ankle. The sole plate on the 1.4 has changed a bit since the 1.3, with all of the conical stud pattern being replaced by two blade style studs on the outside of the heel and one large conical stud on the inside for quick and easy turning while the forefoot has seen a mix of blade style studs in the midfoot with conical studs being favored on the forefoot as well as those speed traction reinforcements running from back to front to help give you a planted feel. The fit on these guys ran true to size and the comfort level is insane. These things are super thin, but when we slid into them, we couldn't believe how comfortable they actually are. You would think with that being cut down to the final millimeter on everything, these would have to cut corners somewhere, but that comfort level is amazing. And the lightness, your socks will feel heavier than this shoe. When I first opened the box and check these bad boys out. The first thing you notice right away is their weight at only 103 grams. I heard they were light, but I had no idea that a cleat could actually be this light. I mean, at one point we were comparing them to some of the thicker paper we had in the office and it was just impressive. When I first put these on after feeling them, you think it, it feels just like thin paper, honestly, and you're like, there's, there's no way these are gonna be comfortable. Um, I tried them on in my office today just to get a feel for them at first, and they're surprising how comfortable these things are. I mean, we just kind of walked around a little bit, and you honestly forget you're even wearing them. Um, my biggest fear when I got these cleats with how light they were, um, going back to some of my original soccer days, kind of back in high school, playing with some of the original Vapors, um, when you kick a ball too hard, when you land too hard on one of your feet, you can really feel it. You feel the sting, you feel kind of the painful sensation. And honestly, I never felt that in this. Um, we kicked, I kicked a few shots, dribbled around for about an hour, and you kind of just forget you're even wearing them. And there you have it, guys and gals the lightest football cleat currently on the market. And while it may warn you about its shortcomings of just lasting 10 games, we didn't really notice any degradation in the first few hours we spent with it, which is a good thing. Now over the long term, we wanna see how these cleats work out. We wanna know what it's like when it gets in the hands of all of our fans. But we wanna know what you guys think of these cleats. Is this really too bold of a move by Puma to tell you that they can't be practiced in? What do you guys think? If you want bleeding edge performance and insane lightweight, these will not let you down. Rest assured, these are top tier. Now check them out over at SoccerPro.com and make sure you keep up to date with our shoe blog, The Instep, for all of the latest on all the new soccer cleats hitting the market. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll see you guys next time.